So here's a question for you. Think for a moment, what would life be like without the use of your legs? Well, that's reality for Webster University grad Katie Sullivan, but she didn't let it define her or stop her from following her dreams, and she has had a lot of dreams. She went on to become an award-winning actress and a Paralympian, and we are so excited to have her with us this morning. Katie Sullivan on the Great Day set. Good morning Good to morning. you. Good morning. Thanks for having me. We are thrilled to have you, and just to lay the groundwork, let's talk a little bit about why you are in town right now. I am here because Webster University is having their centennial graduation, their hundredth graduation, and they asked me to be the commencement speaker. That which has is to feel, amazing. Yeah, amazing. Yeah. So let's talk a little bit about your past before we talk about sure, sure. everything you've done. I start at the beginning. What what happened when you were born? So um, my mom had a normal pregnancy. There mm -hmm. wasn't anything to indicate there was something different about me. And um, when she went into labor, uh, I just was born without the lower halves of my legs. So I've worn prosthetic legs from the time that I was about one. Mm -hmm. And um, it's the only life I've ever known. Mm -hmm. So I've just kind of adapted my whole life. And you are from the South? I grew up in Alabama. Okay. Mm -hmm. Why did you choose to go to Webster University? I chose Webster because of the acting school. The conservatory there has uh, an incredible program, mm -hmm. um, and I learned how to how to be an actor there. So mm -hmm. um, that was really kind of the, the, this was a perfect city for me to kind of take a jump from like a smaller town, mm -hmm. a, a nice medium step to a bigger city. And you finished in 2002. Mm -hmm. You've done a lot since then, including using your degree in acting. Mm -hmm. You were directed by Philip Seymour Hoffman. Yeah. Oh my gosh, what was that like? Yeah, it was amazing. He's a, he was a tremendous human being that really cared about the craft of mm -hmm. acting. It was just sort of the work was never done. Um, the day you closed the play, you should have found something new in his mind. Mm -hmm. um, I learned a great deal from him. And I would imagine with that kind of attitude, once you're done with one thing, start another. You're also a comic. <laughs> I have spent <laughs> a little bit of time telling jokes. I think part of that, honestly, is just I, I grew up with this sense of humor about my situation in life, mm -hmm. I can. I think that humor is a great, uh, a great tool for people to use to kind of a coping mechanism, if you will, um, to break the ice and be able to talk about these things mm -hmm. that might be hard. And then finally, I also want to mention how athletic you are. You're a Paralympian too. Mm -hmm. You competed in London. I did. I went to the 2012 Paralympic Games. I ran the 100 meters for the United States. Uh, finished sixth in the world and set an American record. That yeah. is amazing. Thanks. Well, you do it all, and she is, again, the commencement speaker, the keynote speaker for Webster University's 100th commitments, commencement held at the Muni and Forest Park this Saturday. Congratulations on everything that you, you have done, and what an honor to be the speaker mm. for yeah, the centennial it's celebration. Incredibly, incredibly humbling. Well, we're happy to have you here. So nice to meet her. She's awesome. Guys, over here. They to should you. charge a, a, a cover charge yeah. and let the general public yeah. come out. Mm -hmm. It would be worth it. Because Absolutely. then all of you, like us, can rethink your lives and your priorities, yeah. which yeah. is what we're doing. And you're right whining. Now. Yeah. Stop <laughs> no. with the whining. What's wrong? Can't with take us? your own advice. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. I got a couple of laughs in the, in the studio the with that one. Tells you yeah. something.